Four former Lavernia High School students facing new charges in a hazing and sexual assault scandal. Though these students had previously been charged with sexual assault, indictments handed down by a grand jury Friday charged them with engaging in organized criminal activity. Tonight, Garrett Berger has been following this case. He joins us live. And Garrett, are these all of the people involved in this scandal? No, he sees they're not. At least 13 people have been arrested in connection to this case, which first came to light back in 2017. According to the indictments, combinations of Colton Wiedner, Dustin Norman, Alejandro Ibarra, Christian Roberts, and two unnamed juveniles had conspired to commit sexual assault. The indictments allege that between them, they held six different kids and attempted to sexually assault them with various objects. The alleged assaults took place between August 2016 and February 2017, which is when the school district said it received information about sexual assault allegations. An attorney representing an alleged victim in a separate civil suit says while it's been a little slow, he's not surprised by how long things have taken. These things are not put on a jet rocket and rush through the system. They have to take their turn. And I think that where we are right now is uh, in all in all on course uh, with the presentation of this case, both on the criminal side and on the civil side. That civil side of things has also been taking some time. Rodriguez says his lawsuit and another over the scandal have been combined and they'll be taking testimony over the summer with a trial currently set for February. We also reached out to the Lavernia ISD, which responded with an emailed statement saying in part, quote, due to the sensitive nature of the allegations, as well as federal law protecting all students' privacy rights, the district cannot and will not comment regarding the alleged involvement of any student athlete. Now, as I mentioned, there were two juvenile suspects mentioned in these indictments. We reached out to the Texas Attorney General's office to see if they're also being charged through the juvenile side of things, but we have not yet heard back. Live downtown, I'm Garrett Berger, Taysat 12 News.